everybody. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. You know, today we're in Las Vegas. And what's going on here? Well, it's the Consumer Electronics Show where entertainment, technology, and business converge. Welcome aboard. Carl Champley, master builder, building inspector, damn good-looking man. On the other side of the fence, Dr. Kurt Stoskoff. How are you guys doing? Master consumer, that's me. There you go. Exactly. Mate, very good. Good to be yeah, here. Yeah, well, lost 2013. Vegas. I'm dried out. I've been drinking water like it's going out of style. My, my lips are so chapped, they're peeling off of my face. I was with you last night, and it wasn't water. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that was, <laughs> what was that, an apple martini or something? And I don't drink, so. Big girly uh, drink you would drink. Yeah, it was pretty good, actually. But the lampshade fit good. <laughs> no. Yeah. You know what? It, it's You guys, you're breaking the rules. <laughs> it's supposed to be what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Uh, um, entertainment technology and business all converging here. The connected automobile seems to be the uh, the topic for us, of course, because we're happy about that. Amir Ahmed is here from Uconnect, uh, Uconnect Systems in Chrysler vehicles. Uh, what is Uconnect, Amir? Uconnect is our solution for any vehicle communications. So it's keeping the drivers connected to their vehicle safely. Our goal is to keep drivers focused on driving. Obviously, that's the primary task. Right. Keep your hands on the wheel, your eyes on the road. Everything else is uh, secondary. But at the same time, we want to make sure that they can still be connected to the outside world and the things that are important to them while driving one of our products. All I can say is thank you for doing that because I'm just so tired of people swerving and everyone's head down between their legs and not on the road. Hey! Speak for yourself. Oh, I mean, anyway, it's... talk about how do you connect? Let's just go through that real quick. Sure. Well, what we announced at CES this year was our Uconnect Access system with Via Mobile. But Uconnect Access in general is a system that we have that builds on our already award-winning Uconnect line of radios with an 8.4-inch screen. And it has award-winning user interface with big, easy-to-read buttons, simple uh, HMI, basically. You go through the screens. You know where you're coming from. You know where you're going. You can clearly read everything because... If you can't see what's on the screen, that's a distraction too, right? It's not just what's presented, Absolutely it's how it's it presented. So what we've done now is we've actually added an embedded 3G cell connection in the vehicle as well. So while you're driving, you do have access using your voice, for instance, to things like Bing Search. So while you're driving, you can look for objects while you're driving. You can know, search for popular science radio because of your relationship with AHA. So AHA brings a whole suite of things to us, right? We've got now, we've got AHA radio, you can have, you can hear about your Facebook, your Twitter, um, you can check sports and weather from AHA. So these this are the is things. all voice commanded, everybody. So well, you're not having to take your, wheel. yeah, you're not having to take your hands off the, uh, the wheel, the eyes off the road. And you just made this announcement with AHA. So it, it really, the connected car, okay, my car is now connected. Right. I have the ability to voice command what I want. Right. But well, this seems like a no-brainer, you know, just again, the safety aspect of this is huge. Right. It's huge because everyone listening in, you know, um, if you're driving right now, you look to your left or your right, and again, their heads are not on the road. They're looking down. And it seems well, they're to be drexting, driving and texting. Drexting, I like right. And yeah. with any type of technology, there's always going to be a learning curve. And what we pride ourselves on is making something as simple as to use as possible. So yeah. not only does it look good, but part of its appeal is that it's simple to use as well. So what we've done with these in-vehicle apps now or these internet radio apps is we've kept a lot of the same features that you would have like on a Pandora, an iHeart, or Slacker, for instance. We've incorporated our own HMI. And we've got to give a major kudos to our HMI group back in Auburn Hills because they've done tons of testing. And when you're behind the wheel of these things, it is super intuitive to use. You'd be surprised how easy it is. That big, giant 8-inch whatever screen you have on the dash. Can I watch movies while I'm driving down the road? Absolutely not. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> From the Consumer Electronics Show, live all access on Popular Science.